What's best for your crypto mining rig? For it to be wired or wireless? Today's video is sponsored by the team over at asicmarketplace.com. With crypto mining hardware prices dropping, it's critical to find an online store you can trust with your ASIC purchases. The team at asicmarketplace.com has you covered with some of the most competitive pricing on the market. No matter what brand you're looking for, ASIC Marketplace has it. To name just a few, Bitmain, Goldshell, What's Miner, IB Link, iPolo, Jazz Miner, and many more. There are no surprises with ASIC Marketplace. The price listed on their website includes shipping. Imagine that. Finally, ASIC Marketplace takes the buying experience to the next level by accepting cryptocurrency as payment directly on their store. Go check out ASIC Marketplace today via the link in this video's description down below, as well as save $50 at checkout with the discount code, the hobbyist miner. What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. Well, this question may seem simple enough. Is a wired connection or wireless connection best for crypto mining? So I have two KD Box 2s, one of them that is an ethernet connection, and then a second one here that actually has a wireless connection. And I thought, hmm, let's actually put these to the test and see if we run them at the exact same time for about two weeks to the exact same moment, which one's gonna do better? All right, so I want your comment down below. Wired or wireless? Which one do you think is going to do best in our testing? Or are they going to be exactly the same? Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts before proceeding forward. All right, so before we get too far into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to the team over at asicmarketplace.com. They actually provided the second KD Box 2 for us to actually do this testing. It would have been, if not impossible, to do this testing accurately with just one unit. So this worked out perfectly. So huge shout out to them. If you guys are in the market for any ASICs, go check them out, asicmarketplace.com. And you can actually check down below because there's a $50 coupon code if you're interested in purchasing anything on their store. Huge shout out once again, and thank you to asicmarketplace.com. So on their site, let's take a look at our Cadena Miner. We're gonna go to products, and we're going to go to gold shell on the left, and we're going to scroll down and here is our gold shell kd box 2. this unit came out just a few weeks ago actually feels like even sooner and uh if we go ahead and scroll down you can see that this is the five terahash unit it uses only about 400 watts now this is more than your mini a6 that you have like your dogecoin and some of those other ones out there uh, but the nice thing is here is it is more powerful and it's beefier with 400 watts now this is marketed and it's built for that home miner, 400 watts. So if you look at the noise level, noise level is at 35 dB. It's a little bit, just an observation, it's a little bit louder than what you would see with some of those mini ASICs with those fans and such, but it's well worth it with the amount of horsepower it puts out with that five terahash. So let's go ahead and take a look at our miners. So here's our first miner, um, and this is our wired miner, our wired KD box two that we used. Now, to get some ideas on how we tried to keep the data as clean as possible, I did end up setting up additional wallets within Zelcor. And these were additional Zelcor Cadena wallets that had nothing mined to them at all ever before. And we went ahead and set them up individually on Pool Flare. So two different units with two different addresses started at the exact same time and allowed to us to pull all those metrics nice and clean, which works out really nice. So here's the first unit here. This is the wired unit. It went directly to the pool here. And I'm going to put links to the pool links down below with the wallet addresses. If you guys want to continue to follow up on this. And if you guys want to check it out on your own time. So here's all the metrics on our wired unit. Nice thing about pool flare is it's nothing fancy. It allows us to go ahead and just scroll down and there's a payouts tab and we can export our payouts, which is how we did this. We also did keep in mind our balance at the top because that's important when we're talking about profitability or what was mined today versus yesterday. Now our second unit, this is the wireless unit and let's talk networking real quick. So this unit is about three and a half to four feet away from our ingenious access point. The ingenious access point wires via ethernet directly into a network switch. The ingenious access point is not uh, PoE, 
it's actually powered uh, by 120 and it's as i said three and a half to four feet so i put one access point within that shed because of situations like this when i wanted to run it via wireless this isn't a situation where the device is on the other side of the house and the signal isn't strong and it's up down and problematic this unit is very close so here is that unit that you guys can see here this is the wireless one if you take a look at the pool and i'll put links to this down below as well uh, you can see all of the data is over here for the pool completely separate address and if we scroll down we have all of our payouts as well and we did keep in mind the balance so now let's go ahead and jump over to our spreadsheet and go through which one actually mined more when it comes down to Kadena per day our wired kd box 2 or our wireless all right so if you guys want to look at this uh at your own pace i'll put a link to the spreadsheet down below it's completely public and available so here we are we have our KD Box 2 wired and our KD Box 2 wireless. We have all the metrics and everything pulled out from our payouts. You can see the unit is in the upper right hand corner there if you guys want to take a closer look. Now, profitability and numbers are based off of today, which is February 27th at around 5.50 p.m. Eastern, putting Kadena at $1.12. So if you go ahead and look at our payouts here, we start at the exact same time and we've let it run. You guys can see going all the way down to the bottom here that in total, the wired uh, Kadena box did 11.765988 Kadena. But on the flip side, the wireless unit, and this was super surprising to me, did 11.852187. So talking dollar value here, it's, guys, look at that difference. It is... Barely, it's within that 1% of margin of error, you could say. But look at that. The wireless one, when you do the math, is actually more profitable than the wired one. Now, is there any science to that? I don't know, guys. I'm just a YouTube content creator here. Uh, I thought this would be a lot of fun to put together and put out the metrics. But what that tells me, at first I would have thought, and my initial uh, thoughts behind this and guesses behind this was that the wireless one wasn't going to do as well. That was like my first thought. Like, But I was actually anticipating it for it to do worse, and but not terrible. But this blew me out of the water to be like, wait, the wireless one actually did better than the wired. So what this tells me and what this hopefully tells you, and I'll leave this up for interpretation, leave a comment down below, is that the connection method in this situation was not a factor and that it came down to hardware and it's silicon lottery as we talk about right like that is something we we, we live and breathe that every unit just like gpu mining every one of these units every card even the same make a model is not identical and this is a great example of that that even though these are the exact same unit uh that they now i can't say they were made in the same batch or anything like that i don't have that available to me but what that tells me in that regard is that, you know, wired versus wireless. When the wireless is good, um, I would think they would perform the same. That's kind of the conclusion that I would come to. Now, if we look at some of our metrics here, wired versus wireless metrics, looking at the hardware level, uh, you can see here that the wireless one from a hardware level on the actual web GUI, what the average hash rate was higher. Now, when we look at hardware errors, though, it's actually higher on the wireless unit. And when you look at the rejected rate, the rejected rate is actually higher on the wireless one as well. So you can see right here on line 24, you know, there's your hardware comparison on 25. Now, before you say I mix these up, I triple checked my results to make sure that I wasn't swapping wired versus wireless here because that was the first thing that came to mind. Now, I also thought firmware version like these came from two different vendors and suppliers. So maybe the firmware version was different. Nope. Then I decided to check the hardware version. And on line 27, you guys can see the hardware version. They're exactly the same, B2CSSA. So then I said, all right, let me go to the pool level and see what it's showing. So if you look at the pool, well, pool level, the current hash rates matched, but the average was always higher on this wireless one. So the average hash rate on the pool level and the average hash rate on the hardware level were always higher on this wireless device. So in conclusion, let's feel like I'm doing a book report here in front of the class. Um, in conclusion, these devices, you know, wired versus wireless, when wireless is a high quality, quality wireless connection and devices through and through, when connection type is not a factor, it's really gonna come down to hardware. 
and silicon lottery and these units are what seven cents apart or nine cents or something like that apart like it not even something to consider i mean maybe long term but something i did not anticipate at all Alrighty, guys so that is going to wrap up today's video this was a lot of fun i really enjoyed being able to do this i actually have a project an idea similar to this but with um two s19j pros so i'm trying to find an actual match to my model i haven't found a lot of people that actually have the 100 tera hash unit that's what i have but i'm trying to find someone so if you know someone who has the 100 tera hash unit please let me know because i want to do something similar to this not wired versus wireless but comparing two different methods of payouts to see you know over a 10 day period what we'd end up with but i love this type of stuff quick 10 minute videos that kind of provide us some insight into some of this here so if this helped you guys out I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment down below. If I made a mistake somewhere, please call me out. Let me know. I'd love to know. But did you guys really think this was going to be the results? Well, that's it for today, guys. Links to everything down below, including asicmarketplace.com. Thanks again to them for providing the second unit today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.